have a commanding lead in uh, the gas, but it looks like we should be about even. I I'm not sure why it says that he has a lead. There we go. We are even now. So I just did saturate this third refinery. And as a result, I am able to spend a lot more on technology. These guys don't have 1-1 one, one upgrades, but these guys do have stim pack. Uh, the, the Marauders do have concussive shells. Uh, no combat shield yet. Don't, don't know why. No, nothing being researched here. I am slipping because I did go for the early factory that um, it kind of threw me off my game in terms of the three racks build. Zergling making sure I'm not going for the high yield expansion. I am not. Uh, centrifugal hooks on the way, so all these banelings. Good lord, that is so many banelings. Uh, so he's got 25 plus the 16 on the way. That is 41 banelings. I don't know what to tell you when you've got that many banelings. You need... Uh, I mean... Okay, there we go. More zerglings on the way. Such a huge amount of zerglings. And he is able to take a commanding lead in the army count because of it. Even though these... These banelings don't cost very much gas. It looks like he had a ton of them. Um... And, you know, considering he was lost, and what kind of army he has now, he should be able to take this. I, I'm, oh my gosh, I am just screwed now, and look, he's moving out. He still has not done any harassment at my expansion, um, but of course, these guys are able to protect my entire army and there we go he is going to be going for the destructible debris I don't have anything here to spot that um, and oh he did research um, what is that that he did research burrow I, I don't know if there's a different name for it so we are going to be some baneling landmines um, guarding any sort of retaliation that I might have against these attacking Zerglings, but of course I don't have any detection here because I'm a complete noob, and oh my god, more Banelings. So he knows that I have a Marine and Marauder um, army here, and I have absolutely no answer for this, but I do have the larger army it looks like. I, I don't know how that works out. Um, I mean, I have a slight... No, I'm going to say that he still has the lead here. And in come the Zerglings. A huge amount of Zerglings. Huge amount of Banelings. I don't know why the Banelings are here. They should not blow up on anything here. It is not worthwhile for them. All my SCVs at my expansion go down. Sending my units in. He, he of course, has Banelings in the back, too, ready to flank. Most of those banelings exploding right over those marines, doing massive damage. But these siege tanks should be able to wipe out the majority of these banelings. Oh, looks like all but two of them. So those two go down right in the middle of the SCVs, and they are able to get some damage done there. Overlord coming out. All these zerglings still alive. They should be ready and able to wipe out these marauders so oh good lord massive devastation across the board but i did somehow get the lead in that he he was able to wipe out my tech lab one of my barracks another tech lab here the reactor did live somehow and he did take out quite a few scvs took out the the, the expansion he's still on two base and he's retreating to his base because I went for a medevac drop. Uh, let's see if I can get that on screen for you guys because that is important. Oh, good lord, I missed it for quite some time here, didn't I? I do apologize for that. Good lord. How long was that there? Let's go to the 1510 mark. It had to be before, after, after then, so. Okay, so Medivac is on the way. Um, while the, the Zerglings are taking out... Oh, so these guys are going down as soon as the Zerglings are going in. So we are going for a base race here. And here I go in and 
because he's still microing over here, he's not being—he's not really being able to do anything uh, with the marines that are inside his base. Oh, so just a, a select group of guys here. I'm speeding it up for you. That's why these guys are just being extra hyper today, uh, because you kind of already saw what was going on here. And so I'm able to take out all his harvesters at his main base while he took out all the harvesters at my base. And that is why these guys started retreating back to the main base. Because I had taken out everything that he had. I am going for that lair. I don't want him to do any sort of tech work. And I was already able to take out the spawning pool and the, the baneling nest. So he is not going to be able to produce much of anything. Um, I even uh, have these guys inside the mineral line, so he's not going to be able to get a good surround. That was an accident. I did not plan it that way, but it worked out very much in my favor. Drones coming back to do some mining, and they will not be able to do that. I killed them along the way. So I'm going to go. I know that he has the expansion. Knew it since the beginning of the game. And these Banelings here are going for a desperation push here. But the siege tanks, of course, are still there. And they take out everything before they're able to do that much damage. And he is forced to GG. Oh my gosh, I literally called this. Uh, I told you guys that I nickname every game so that I have a little uh, reminder of what the game was before I go in. And I literally called this, holy shit, I won. And after seeing that this guy was a platinum player, still holy shit, I won. Even more holy shit, I won. I could not believe it when it happened uh, that this small little medevac drop, really just two uh, medevacs full of marines and marauders, uh, was able uh, to wipe him out really because he had bad timing. There's I, It was just unlucky for him. He was probably the better player in this game. Um, but a small medevac drop into a, a corner of the field, wiping out his tech almost immediately. I cannot stress this enough. Don't put all your tech in the back of your base on a map like this to, you know, where there's tons of room here for a medevac drop, for banshees, for air, for air harassment. 